Germany actually got a good top tier vehicle, and I'm not joking, this isn't sarcasm, Germany got a MiG-29. Firstly, before we talk about that, thank you patrons, massive support to the channel, really appreciate you guys. Yes, you heard me say that, Germany got a MiG-29. The MiG-29, of course, being in my opinion the best top tier jet in all of War Thunder. It's just super meta, it fits the game very well. You get undoubtedly the best flight performance for a top tier match, and then on top of that you get the two best missiles in the game, and then four R6EMs to back it up. R6EMs... I think they get a lot of hate for no reason, they're definitely amongst the best short range IR missiles you can have, so having four of them is definitely a useful part of your kit. And then the radar is really slept on too, I think it gets a lot of hate for no reason. You get TWS and it guides the ER pretty damn well, and of course the ER is like I said undoubtedly just the best missile in the game. I think this pretty much sums up the MiG-29 rather well. I have two Phantoms in front of me, of course they're carrying AIM-7s, I'm carrying the 27 ER. I'm gonna lock one up, I've now shot my missile, I unlock him so he's no longer getting RWR. Once the missile's made its way down range, I'm going to relock him and he gets RWR for all of about two seconds there before he just randomly blows up. Not enough time to react, then this other F4S shoots his Sparrow a little bit before I shoot my R27 and then the R27 just clears anyways and his Sparrow came nowhere close to my plane before my 27 ER just slapped him in the face. There's just nothing in the game that can hold a candle to the 27ER in terms of performance. Sure, the Sparrow technically has more range than the 27. Sure, the Phoenix has more range than the 27. The thing is though is that you can just outmaneuver a Phoenix, it's not that difficult, and if you aren't confident enough to outmaneuver it, you can treat it exactly as you would a long range Sparrow launch, and what you would do is just turn 90 degrees, trash the incoming missile, and then once they're more within your R27ER kill range to where your missile just has an absolutely bonkers advantage over anything, which 17 kilometers here is definitely well within the R27ER's advantage range. There's nothing that the target's gonna be able to do. You just turn in, you recommit, you launch your missile. If they try to launch a second one, uh, well, it's not gonna matter. The 27's gonna hit him anyways. Unfortunately, this guy uh, does manage to break my radar, radar lock, so that 27 does not quite hit him. He is a MiG-29 as well, so getting him out would have been really nice. Unfortunately, just weren't quite able to do it. And in the end of the day, all of the SAR missiles, even the 27ER, can be defeated the exact same way. As long as you can notch a radar or chaff the missile by turning 90 degrees, you're going to live. Even though the R27ER is busted in terms of just nothing comes close to it in performance, it's definitely still defeatable if you have your eyes open and you know it's coming. The biggest thing is just not putting yourself within range to basically be in a no escape zone in the 27 to where you just don't have time to 90 degree notch if it is launched at you. And that is a little bit tricky at times to manage, but uh, it's again just a matter of being situationally aware. There is a cluster of enemies behind me, they are shooting missiles at me, they're a little far away though, I don't think those missiles are ever going to hit. I want you to pay attention real quick, look how goddamn fast I'm going on the deck right now with this MiG-29, 1520 kilometers an hour easily. This thing blows everything out of the water in top speed and it is actually fast enough on the deck to where it actually makes a difference. A lot of times deck top speed doesn't really mean a whole lot in top tier, but if you're going 300 kilometers faster than a lot of what the planes can do on the deck, that is a pretty significant difference. I'm able to pick up a quick 27 kill on a MiG-29, that is a little bit too tunnel vision on my teammate, we dodge the F-14's missile, we just loop back around onto a 6, and there's pretty much nothing he can do at this point, he's too slow, even if he wasn't too slow, my plane's just better, we get a pretty pitiful hit for the 30mm, usually it does more damage than that, but no problem, I've got infinite amount of energy over the F-14, the probably the highest thrust to weight engines in the entire game. This thing can literally just go 90 degrees straight up and maintain Mach 0.8. And <laughs> not literally, but it does not lose speed in a vertical whatsoever. Then we come back down as the F-14 stalling out. We shoot him with an R-60 just for fun. That was never going to hit. Bad launch. And then we finish him off with the gun. And that's pretty much an easy way to deal with an F-14. They're usually going to be too heavy to actually dogfight in a typical RRB match, at least compared to a MiG-29. And getting a gun kill if you catch him one on one like that is not too difficult. The F4S Phantom comes in, he didn't launch a Sparrow, that was his only chance to kill me right there and since he didn't take advantage of it, then, well, I'd have probably lived anyways, but he didn't even try and now he's got absolutely no way of killing me. I shoot an R60 as well as some gunshots on the MiG-29, 
I think he was a little too distracted by my guns, didn't realize that the R60 can actually do that and arm itself in time to make a .4 kilometer shot kill, which is pretty damn cool if you ask me, and he ends up just eating that one to the face. Now the F4S is all by himself, and this is just murderous, really. Like, there's nothing to talk about here. The MiG-29 just outclasses the F4S in pretty much every single category. No, not pretty much. Literally every single category. There's nothing this guy can do at this point. His biggest mistake was just coming in my general vicinity in the first place. Maybe he relied on his MiG-29 teammate to do a little bit more. Fair enough. Or maybe he just didn't want to run away from me. Also fair enough. But... Again, this plane is just so much better than everything else in terms of performance. The F-16 is the only thing that could actually beat this thing uh, in a one versus one. But even then, it's pretty damn close. The MiG-29 absolutely still could win. And then on top of that, how often do you actually get a one versus one low speed dogfight like that? Well, I showed a couple of clips of it just for fun to show you what the MiG-29 is capable of, but it really doesn't happen that often. However, if it does happen often, it's really nice to have, but on top of the dogfight performance, you just get everything else, man. These engines are ridiculously powerful. The missile is ridiculously powerful. The radar, like I said, I think is heavily slept on. You see me once again doing the R27ER trick. I shoot the missile, I unlock target, I wait for it to fly all the way down range, then I relock a target, give him about half of the time for his RWR to go off than it otherwise would have if I just held the lock the entire time. We kill him, we turn around, we chaff the incoming Sparrow, and then we just go into the rest of the match. It's just, it's it's such a metamobile, and it's so fun to play that I genuinely just don't want to play anything else at top tier. There's really not a whole lot somebody can do against a good MiG-29 player. Maybe, like I said, a good S-16, if he can find a way to catch him one versus one, is going to be able to do something about it. But, if you have a lot of comp... Is that a missile? No, that's my fuel tank. Okay, well, freaked out there for a second. I'm just going to say, if you have a lot of competent MiG-29s on your team, there's just nothing the enemy team's going to be doing. The MiG-29, in my opinion, has always been the best top-tier jet. It was just screwed over by the matchmaker when it first came out because the Americans didn't have a top-tier premium, whereas the MiG-29 had to deal with teams full of top-tier premiums because pretty much everybody got sided with Russia, and on top of that, Russia had its own top-tier premium in the form of the MiG-20. MiG-23 ML. US pretty much just F-14s and F-16s with no top tier premium to control the matchmaker and so yeah they stomped for a while but again I just think that this plane has always undoubtedly been the best thing ever since it's been added and it's only been buffed since. By the way that little uh, missile trick that you keep seeing me do where I unlock the target you can't do that with a sparrow. If you try to unlock the target with the sparrow the sparrow just goes stupid and eventually blows up. The R27ER doesn't. I'm pretty sure it even continues to track in TWS mode even if you don't have a target unlocked. Excuse me, if you don't have a target locked, it'll continue to track in TWS mode, at least that's what it appears to do. We're going to end this game by killing a role-playing BVR F-14. He's doing the realistic BVR combat where he shoots a missile, turns around, runs the other direction, gets separation, turns back in. Well, how did that work out for you, buddy? Your entire team is dead and you're all by yourself while you're trying to role-play the US Air Force. Excuse me, US Navy. So to all of you who think playing BVR like that, where you just shoot a missile and then turn around is a good idea, let this F-14 be an example. Sure, he's the last alive, but he did absolutely nothing to help his team and him and his team have now lost. Hope you guys enjoyed the MiG-29, I'll see ya.